Our next caller is Lily from California. Hey, Lily, how can we help you? Hi, guys. Thank you so much for taking my call. I really appreciate it. Of course. So, okay, so here's um, my my question. I've been working out since 2016, 2015, actually. I started to work out because I wanted to lose some weight and I wanted to gain muscle. And that when the pandemic hit, uh, we started wearing masks at, um, you know, in the gyms and stuff. And I wouldn't feel good in the gym. So I decided to take my workouts, you know, to do them at home. But for since 2015, um, 2016, until the pandemic started, I had been in a place where we did a lot of cardio, tons and tons of cardio. Everything was every minute on the minute or as many reps as, uh, you know, reps as possible. So I did like all of those years of of just that, you know, and kettle work, but uh, kettlebell work, but everything was fast paced, really super fast paced. We would sweat a lot and that was it. Then we went to barbells, but in the barbells, we would do the same thing. It was how many reps can you do in a minute of, um, you know, like uh, push ups or press ups or, you know, um, anything, you name it with the, with the barbell, we would do it, but we would do it at a super fast pace. So then somebody told me about you guys and I, um, I started listening to you guys and I started hearing you guys talk about how uh, that was the wrong way to do it because you never build muscle that way. You're kind of just burning it. You're kind of just losing it anyway. So I started working out and I've got your programs and um, I'm happy to say that I have gained some muscle and I have uh, seen differences in my body and I feel a uh, hundred times better than I did when I was doing all that cardio and just exhausting myself. And so I want to say thank you for that um, so much. I, um, I started doing the weight training, the resistance training. I am right now at 49 years old. And I'm 126 pounds. I'm five one, so I'm not, you know, I'm pretty short. Um, I did lose some weight uh, with the resistance training, but it seems like I'm stuck. And I'm, you know, I my question, I guess, would be, uh, since I'm in menopause, I'm full on menopause, okay, and I do have um, Graves' disease, which makes my metabolism work a little overtime. Um, so my question is, how do I? At this stage in my life, I, I repent that not having uh, to I am not having learned how to do resistance training earlier because I would have loved to start it earlier. Uh, but now I'm 49 years old and I'm afraid that I'm going to lose all of my the muscle that I've been working so hard to 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 build. I want to build muscle, but I also want to keep it because I feel like every time I I gain it, it just kind of goes down the drain. And then I'm working like uphill o- over that. And I'm afraid that I'm you know, that I'm not going to be able to build um, strong muscles or that my bone density um, with age is going to, I'm going to lack bone density. So I've been doing the performance, MAPS hits. I did the seven day uh, workout that you guys put online, which was awesome. I loved it. And I love every single program that I've done with you guys. I'm hooked on it. I'm just addicted to it. And I've started recently, uh, maybe about two to three days ago, I started MAPS Aesthetics. And so I'm wondering if that's the right program for me. And I'm right now at 1,300 calories. So I kind of been cutting for a while, but I don't see like a, my fat going away. Lily, the, the, Lily, let me, I, you have, you, we see, you have plenty of information for us right now to help you out. And the, the, what I'm excited about this question or to help you and answer here is the irony is the programs that you selected of ours are in the complete backwards order of what I would have you do them at. So you gravitated towards the things that are most closely like the way that you've trained in the past. You went to the seven day a week, you did the maps hit, you did the performance. And then the, the lightest one of volume of all the ones you did is the maps aesthetic which a perfect place for someone like you would be actually more like anabolic two days a week strength training and trying to build your metabolism back up. That's, and I'm sure that's where both my partners are, are going to push you at because looking at every, your, your past, your background, where your body's at currently right now, uh, you need to go, you want to go in the complete opposite and you kind of started to go that direction. But the programs you're doing or that you've done of ours already are still more volume that I'd want you training. I'd actually want you training less frequently and less volume. Yeah, mm-hmm. MAPS Anabolic will blow your mind, Lily. I'm telling you, if, if you follow MAPS Anabolic, do the two foundational workouts, do the trigger sessions 
on the off days. And then you can stay active the rest of the days if you want to walk, do some stretching. That'll be fine as well. It'll blow your mind. Um, now, I do have a, a question in, in regards to your, your hyperthyroid issue and menopause. Are you working with a hormone specialist? Is there someone that you're working with that's kind of controlling this? Uh, no, I'm kind of taking over the counter stuff that my doctor has prescribed for the hyperthyroid. I do work with um, uh, with an endocrinologist and she does have me on some meds to control that because uh, it's been really out of control. So she does have me on that, but on over the counter um, hormones, you know, progesterone. Yeah. As yeah, so hyperthyroid can be an interesting uh, situation, right? Because it, it can make your, it almost puts your body under a bit more stress mm -hmm. yeah. than the app. Now, normally you would burn a lot more calories. You're only at 1,300 calories, which that and combined with your, your hyperthyroid tells me that you've, you've probably beat your body up too much for too long. So MAPS, MAPS Anabolic is going to be uh, tremendous, and it might actually even balance out your thyroid a little bit. Uh, I know with people in, in the past that I've worked with hyperthyroid, we would put more stress on them. Their, their thyroid would get even worse. Um, now, here's the here's the thing I'm going to recommend. Now, I don't know who you're working with. And they're an expert, which is great. We found some really good hormone specialists mm -hmm. that will do, uh, they'll go over your current protocol and do an assessment for you. You don't have to work with them all the time, but they will assess what you're currently doing. And I've had people go there and come back and say, wow, they, you know, they changed a few things and I felt a big difference. So I'm going to recommend that you go to mphormones.com and just, you know, inquire and see if an assessment would be beneficial. They'll go through your whole protocol. They'll do a blood test and see if there's something that they want to change because that, that's, a, that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. But as yeah. far as the workouts are concerned, MAPS Anabolic all the way. Two days a week foundational trigger sessions on the off days. And if you want to be active uh, during the week, I would do walking or stretching or mobility work, but no additional workouts. And you should see significant changes in your body from doing that. So you felt a big difference from going from the crazy cardio to yeah. MAPS hit. Well, <laughs> it'll be a bigger difference going from what you're doing now to MAPS anabolic. Because I, I think that's the most appropriate workout for you right yeah, now. The hardest thing is the mental discipline of uh, knowing that recovery is a massive part of this entire process. Uh, for you. And so to, to be able to take those trigger session days, like in between maps anabolic is going to be huge. Cause That's hard. yeah, it's, it's, it's tough. You don't want to go too intense with it. This is a mistake I made uh, the first time I ran the, the, um, you know, the program myself in taking that as, well, this is a rubber band workout that I have to go crazy <laughs> with. Uh, and no, this is really just about you moving and, and getting active recovery uh, and really being able to, you know, get that kind of muscle pump and, and contraction. But uh, this is this is to charge you up basically into the next workout that you're going to have, you know, preceding that. So um, treat your body like, uh, you know, like like your friend, like you, you want to make sure that you're recovering fully. So that way, you know, you, you get all the benefit of gaining muscle that you're seeking. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and Lily, uh, you know, if you really just love the mental effects of exercise, and you want to do more because you might want to. You might find yourself trigger sessions not enough. I want well, to do something. I, well, I'm doing your programs and I'm doing them five days a week, and I'm doing it like with the rest periods. And I'm like, this is like an hour and thirty minutes. I'm doing them five days a week. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. no, no. So maps anabolic, you're gonna have way less time in the gym. But if you find on those off days you want to do something else, I think Yin Yoga would be amazing for you. I, I I think yoga in general would be great for you, but you probably would gravitate towards power yoga. Don't do that. Yin Yoga, the calming slow, relaxing kind of aspect, that'll have, I think, a, a yeah. beneficial effect for you. You need to move. I mean, that's that's obvious, but make sure it's like restorative focus to that. So yes. yeah, it's that's a, that's a good recommendation. I would take your recommendation even farther, Lily, and tell you that I would love to see you do anabolic with two foundational days, go through the entire program, add the, the yoga in there once a week that Sal's talking about, and then actually do the program again. And that time is when I would allow you to go to three days a week. So I'd want you to go all the way through it, running the two foundational days, and then we'd run it back a second time with you running three foundational days. And then after you finish that, I would allow you to go yeah. to the MAPS performance. You, you should see some pretty significant strength gains. So that's what you'll notice. You, you'll go through the program and within the first couple of weeks, you're just getting stronger. Very good sign if that happens, which it probably will. 
Wow, that's that's because I did. You guys hit it on the, the nail on the head because I did start like with the fastest, strongest thing I could. Yep. So thank you so much for redirecting me because now I, I'm I'm sure I'm going to see changes that yes. I'm probably not even expecting to see. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Mm-hmm. Do you have Maps Anabolic, by the way? No. Well, uh-uh. you, we'll send it right over to you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate everything you do for people. Thanks. No, thank awesome. you. We appreciate thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. So it's so great, um, you know, when we do stuff like, and I, you know, I remember when we actually did the seven day a week, uh, um, yeah, episode. We're like watch all the all the people yeah. that shouldn't do this are gonna want to do. This. Yeah, <laughs> and and one of the things off air we all kind of joked is we all said that you know watch we're we're gonna do this seven day a week and all the people that we probably wouldn't recommend to do it would do it and it's just you are you're it's so hard when you've trained like this right like she has where it's circuit based class right so this is the orange theory f45 crossfit as type of high intensity nonstop that and people love it because they feel amazing after the adrenaline's through the roof mm-hmm. and the cortisol gets released and they feel so good afterwards and they stick and they sweat and so they feel like they're so productive and then to take that person and go oh someone let's get maps that she literally went in the reverse order of what i would allow her to do it's like all the the biggest volume highest intensity mm-hmm. <laughs> programs we have when it and, and there's nothing wrong with her getting to that place but i mean we wrote them with this idea that you start in this on this other end of the spectrum yeah, well i'll tell you what i'm really curious about i hope she goes to mphormones.com and gets an assessment because yeah. You know, you think you go to one hormone doctor that it's going to be the same as going to another one. Nothing could be further from the truth. It, it, you know, these places have been w- trying to get us to work with them for so long. We say no to, we said no so many times because we see what they do and it's like, oh, this doesn't, <laughs> I don't think they're doing things right. Well, it, there's a huge difference when you go to a place where they really understand how to work with athletes, they understand how to work. Not just with what the numbers are supposed to say, but the right. symptoms. Not just baseline, like finding your way back to well, the optimal. It makes a huge yes. Yes. Trying to health. optimize yeah. is what I love about Rand. And versus, quality of life, you yeah. know? Because a, a general practitioner, you know, nine times out of ten, they're looking at the numbers and just like, oh, you're not- You're in, within range. You're not- yeah. dan- This isn't in any we'll danger. Just bring you yeah, back up. You're not going to die anytime soon. And so there's nothing that we're concerned about as far as danger-wise, but as far as- feeling good and optimizing yourself. I mean, they don't focus on that at all. 